Hello, it's Lucy here, Outdoor Learner Officer based at Absol Farm, and today we're going to be venturing into the undergrowth to have a mini beast view of the world, imagining what it feels like to be a mini beast, and then have a go at making our own mini worlds to enjoy and play with. Can anyone tell me what the smallest mammal is in the UK? I'll give you a few seconds. It's a pygmy through, they're tiny. How about the smallest bird that we get in the UK? The smallest bird is a gold crest, so very, very small. I'm going to be looking for our smallest mini beast and see what their world looks like to them. Are you ready? No luck here, but I think I'm going to try somewhere else. So I'm growing my grass long and hope that I find a bit more wildlife in it. And the other day I did spot some spiders crawling around in it. So we'll just wait here for a few seconds and see what we can find. These aren't quite in the undergrowth, but I have just spotted them sunbathing on this stone on this glorious day. They've got eight legs and we have two spiders. There's a little spider in the bottom right hand side of the corner. Some worms. Another little ant crawling along. So I had some success, I found a few creatures. Something I realised is that they much prefer the shady areas than the brighter sunshine areas. So that's a trick if you're looking for creeper foolies. Found some spiders, some ants a millipede, slugs, worms, wood lice, it's quite a few little mini bees. Have you ever wondered what it's like for them crawling around or what everything looks like? What does their sky look like? Because a lot of the time they're in the undergrowth. So what I've got is a mirror and now we're going to have a go at seeing what they see. Now that I've explored the garden and had a look at what it looks like from down below, I thought I'd have a go at making a mini me and a mini easy. Here is my mini me and my mini easy, and now I'm going to take them for a little wander around my garden and imagine what it would be like if I was this small and my garden was a jungle. Why don't you have a go at making a mini you? And then take them around your garden or green space and see what they can find. So I normally am out in the woods doing a forest school session. So what I thought I'd do is have a go at making a mini forest school session for the mini me. So come and have a look and see what I did. So here is my mini forest school site. I've got a swing hanging from a plant, a ladder climbing up to that pot, my den behind me, I've got my log circle with a campfire in the middle and my hammock just over there. And I have actually planted some seeds in here so hopefully they will grow up around my fresco site so it'll start looking like a jungle in a forest. Why don't you have a go at making your own mini world? Please do share your mini worlds with me and your mini people. I would love to see them. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and stay wild.